What is going on guys, my name is Jays and today I'm going to be bringing you a quick text tutorial in Sony Vegas Pro 12. So right, the first thing you want to do is go to media and then open up the all folder and then you'll see a couple of these effects but the effects you want with texts are text and titles, these are like flying titles. You can use these if you want, if you want them to like flash in your video and drop in, you know, you see all these effects here. But what I'm going to be showing you is legacy text, just plain simple text. You want to click the one you want and drag and drop it down here onto the timeline. It will then bring you up with this box. This box will show you what text you want inside, so I'm just going to call it text. You can then highlight it and change the font to whatever font you want. Some people like to have their own fonts. I, do, I personally just choose the ones in here, but if you have your own fonts installed on your computer, you might want to use some of them. So you can obviously change the how big you want it. So you might want it really big, or you might want it really small. And you can have it bold, and then you can put it to italic as well. And you can have it in the left, right, or center of the screen, but you don't really want to use any of them. So that's it for this little box. Next thing you want to do is go to placement. And as you can see on the preview over here, you can move it wherever you want on this box. The red bar, the red lines in this square box is just a safe line, but as long as it's in the preview screen and here it'll be in the video. So you can drag it right to the bottom here and just call it test. And you can call it, you can call it whatever you want and you can put it wherever you want on the screen, you know. So I'll personally put it down here and you can have it saying subscribe or part one or like and comment the video or whatever you want to have in there. Second thing I'm going to show you is the properties tab. This shows you, you can change the color of your text. So have it red, whatever color you want. As you can see, there's loads of colors to choose from here. And yeah, you, I'm going to put it red and this is the opacity. So you can change it and it'll fade more if you pull this line down and you can pull it all the way up to uh, make it stand out more. Another thing is the background colour. As you can see it's just black at the moment but I can change it to whatever colour I want. So light, light blue, put light blue on there. Red, whatever, whatever colour you want, you know, yellow. Well, I'm just going to leave it as black for now. And then uh, yeah, I'm going to go to the last tab now which is effects. This effects tab is really, really useful. Right, one sec, I'm just going to move this back in the center of the screen so it'll be easy to show you and make the uh, text a little bit bigger. Okay, back in the effects tab, you can draw a line. This is an outline around the text, so it makes it stand out more. So as you can see, when I tick this thing here, it will then bring up a red line around the outside of the text. You can change the color of this line by click in this little box, drop down box and it bring you up with this colour tab. I need green if I wanted to and I can make it stand out more by pulling width out, you know, super lot. You don't want to have it that much. I would I would recommend having the maximum of 200. So yeah, and then the feather that doesn't really do anything, that just makes it a little bit lighter. Um, I'll personally leave this on about 100. No, I'll probably say 200. And then if you want any shadow in the background, you can press shadow. You can't really see it at the moment. I'll just change the background color so you to see it. Okay, you can then tick this and as you can see, a shadow has come out in the background which makes the text stand out even more. So it's like a shadow. You can change the color of this shadow to whatever color you want. So yellow can't really see that well but a lot of people just stick to black that's a good color to have and of course you can make it a lot darker and a lot more lighter with this feather tool and then you can move it over here to the left or you can move it up whatever you want to do with it you can do with it and then the last tab is this tab so you can change whatever text, you can make it stretchy. If you just press enable and there's loads of options here to choose from, you can use any of these if you want. I personally don't use these, they look a bit like unprofessional, a little bit kiddie, so I don't really use them, I just untick it and it'll go back to normal. 
And uh, yeah, the last thing I'm going to show you now is how to put this text on top of a video. So what I'm going to do is import a video and you want to drag the video underneath the text. Then what you want to do is make your background is going to have to be transparent. So let me just make a new text thing. Delete that and then drag and drop this. And as you can see, it's come up on the screen over here. And then I can move the text wherever I want onto the video. So yeah, that, that's it guys for this tutorial. Uh, I hope this helped you. And remember to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. See you later guys.